folks, how we doing? This is a quick introduction to a long video. It's a, a major part of the how-to series I started putting out. Um, I've spent the past few years of my life, about eight years, uh, becoming awake myself and as doing so, uh, helping others become awake. What does awake mean? Uh, becoming aware of who you really are, metaphysical abilities. Uh, there's not really such thing as a psychic. There is everyone that has metaphysical abilities and some of them, some people have been able to bring these abilities forward. Um, so there's no one person called a psychic who has these great powers and no one else does, only a couple people here and there. It's everyone has them and only a few people have woken that up. Uh, I've written books on this and what exists through uh, creation. Uh, but I am inside, not this body that I'm stuck in for a few more months. Um, uh, I'm not planning on hurting myself. I'm doing everything I can to stay alive. As soon as I, in order to get a couple things done, and as soon as I finish, then I'll just relax and the body's just going to drop. Boom. Uh, some people fear death. I don't. Uh, that's our natural state. Uh, spirit, free spirit, sentient energy. Uh, and uh, these books I've written, this one here, the first one, Creation, It's Beginning in Your Origin, I explained where everything came from. Um, I see things, I understand things, know things. I've been going into people's brains for years, and I put my energy in there, and then I see all the different parts of your brain. I work on it. Um, when you see me do this on a video, you'll see me do stuff work right here. That's because literally I see a huge brain in front of me, your brain. Okay, your brain, I'm, I'm around, I go to where you're at, and I'm right there over your head. And when I do things, most people can, um, for mo most people, through most of the process, actually feel me working on them. Um, the application is soft. Later on, it's a little bit harder. I explain this all in detail. The upcoming video is like a class, um, except we don't get to reciprocate the uh, any type of verbal communication. Um, uh, it'd be nice if that, I wanted to do that. that. It'd be nice if I could do these things and I'm really sick, I can't get around anymore. Uh, I had to, just took a trip to Hawaii, I needed to. Uh, that was painful as hell. I'm not gonna travel anywhere anymore anyway. I can't even stand for 10 seconds. I have to lean on something. Can't stand for three seconds, whatever. Um, uh, I explain the different parts of the brain, how they function metaphysically, uh, a bit about the DNA process, how I change your DNA. Uh, this is now in the process of being proved. It does not happen overnight. You don't put a litmus paper in a solution and say, voila, we have proof. No, this takes time. Um, but what I do have... Um, uh, is a quantitative electroencephalogram that was done uh, with myself and Martin Parra in Sweden. He was in Sweden and I was here across the Atlantic uh, in Duluth in this chair. Well, in this position, I think it was a different chair then. Uh, anyway, uh, I try to be accurate about everything I say, but it's, it's, <coughs> it's hard to. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, this is something I've been doing for a long time. At the end of this very long video, there's going to be other videos you can watch uh, about people who've done it, the results that they've had, they've felt. You have to make up your own decision on this, your own mind, uh, whether this is real or not. I'm telling you, it's real, but you know what? That's a decision for everyone to make themselves. Um, I'm going to tell you this, though. If you're going to tell me that a tree didn't fall in the woods because you didn't hear it and I'm looking at the tree, I'm going to say, well, that's not true. Love you, take care, see you later. Um, I'm not here to debate anything. This is my last life. 
I've had more lives than anyone else. My spirit inside is very strong. It's sourced from the beginning. I was around when all of you were coming out. Um, no one's any better than anyone else. Um, and there's true equality now finally being expressed in creation. So it's a... Um, there's been a lot going on, but let's make this intro as short as possible. I want to take just a minute and show you a printout from a quantitative from the quantitative lecture myself of the Graham for myself here in Duluth, Georgia, and my friend Martin Para. He's friends now. We're friends now. We met again this life um, out in Sweden. Let's take a look. Well, as you look to the left of the screen. Uh, that image, that group of images over the t t over there to the left, that's uh, Martin Perez's uh, brain waves coming out of the uh, uh, the sensor net that's put on his head. It reads electromagnetic energy, and it's during a test at a certain point. Um, she puts the whole thing together, then takes the uh, um, matches the sections and then makes makes a print of it now uh, this uh, the woman the tech that was doing this she was very surprised she and uh, as a matter of fact uh, at, at one point uh, when it was finished uh, my energy just started playing with the machine um, started given her a little bit of a problem. <laughs> You'll, if you watch the two-hour video, it's a long one. It's not a good one. As, um, Martin and I did the best we could with what we had. We used laptops. Um, so, uh, anyway. Uh, that's uh, And it was through Skype. It wasn't a very good connection, but uh, at least you're seeing the fact that he's there. And then you have the printouts, which I don't know how anyone is smart enough to try to fake those um, but this is something that's very real um, anyway uh, the Im the image on the right side uh, that's what his brain was putting out when I went into his brain and remember he was in Sweden and I was over here in, in Duluth Georgia so um, that proves that is proof that I went into his brain and you know, change the amount of power going through those uh, wires going into the computer reading all this. This is very strong, high-tech medical instrumentation, folks. This is not some app download. This is very expensive equipment. Um, high-tech medical stuff, okay? Um, so, uh, that shows you a large difference in a lot of what's going on. And then plus, if you go to thespiritualfoundation.com, just look at the front page, all the data, all the sheets on it, the graphs, all the data breakdown, it's all there. Well, um, this video contains so much information about the different parts of the brain, how they function metaphysically. Um, there are, there are uh, some scientists in, a, in, in Spain and uh, a geneticist in Belgium. There's others uh, that are actually working on this, proving that it's real. Um, but these are people who are DNA specialists, well-known throughout the world. So, uh, um, when it's done, it'll be, a, it'll be published when, the, when, the, when they finish um putting all the proof together, it'll be a published scientific, uh, in, it, it'll be published in scientific journals. Okay, no one's ever been able to do this before. It was time for me to come here one last time, one last life, and do this. And I'm about done. Um, there are other people here that have some source spirit in them. They actually came from what's inside me, uh, a mixture of what, what's inside me, and then what's inside what's called Lily. And, um, they have very strong metaphysical abilities too. And I've made them even stronger. And there's a few people that can do this. So as I leave and get out of this body, they're gonna continue. They don't have my same power level. I'm kinda of like the freak of the family. Um, uh, 
So anyway, look, uh, I didn't make this video to talk about myself, but I do have to render a certain amount of information to you. It's like, why this, why that? That'll answer a few questions. Um, anyway, um, there's so much information here. Uh, take this, if you would, and download it and you know keep it, because you'll go back to it. If you're in interested in waking up, becoming alive, the real you, there's information in here that you do not have access to anywhere else, okay? I'm no better than a stick in mud. All creation is equal. But I'm going to do my job. Nothing's going to stop me. I was made to do this in the very beginning. So, uh, folks, love you. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. And if you can download it, it's good for you. It's good for those you love. It's good for the children you have coming and your grandchildren. The next hundred years, everything's changing here. Next year, you're going to start meeting some of our friends from other planets. Uh, how do they all talk? Uh, they have all kinds of advanced equipment, but also telep uh, telepathy. Blah. Folks, love you, man. Enjoy the video. Morning there, folks. We're on the upswing today. Feel rough, but so what? <laughs> Uh, it is 7.38 a.m. Yeah, make sure I'm right in the right place, Duluth, Georgia. 7.38 a.m., Thursday, November 9th, 2017. Um, I have moments I go through when... Uh, my brain gets worked on. All of you that have been cranked up understand what I'm talking about. The brain gets worked on um, uh, because of the amount of energy that comes out of my body all the time. Um, uh, the, the field extending out. I mean, there's, I have a lot going on. I'm doing a lot through this body, though most of it's you know from outside of the body. Uh, and then with the body dying, literally falling apart inside, uh, uh, it's so rough, whatever, you know, um, nothing wussy to complain about, just, uh, it just is what it is, and I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm at this point, and I'm also glad, uh, this other part of me, I picked back up in, uh, Hawaii, when I was throwing stuff around, <laughs> It's not funny, but it is. Um, and the other life I had, Paola, um, it was in the uh, uh, second age. And he was the big kahuna of uh, Mew. We called it Mew back then, not Lemuria. It was an important life, trying to put things together. As soon as I could put anything together, then after I felt success right there, the original first being male and female would destroy it. My last life, Gandhi. Gandhi G. Take a look at that. Tell me what you think, huh? India was coming together. Freedom from Great Britain and then it turned into a, you know, society broken down and beat up. And, and then uh, my two last fasts, that hurt so bad, uh, especially that last one, that two-thirds of my organs were in failure. I was dying when that guy shot me. And then, like I've said for years now, it was four times, not three. I got annoyed about that, the part of me that's inside that is Gandhi. Still is. When you're source, you start absorbing stuff, and it becomes part of you, and it's it's kind of hard to take away some of it, but uh, then again, it's not. Um, I mean, it can be done. It's just not the kind of thing you always want to. It's part of your character. Like Herky. Man, y'all, I've told you how much I love him. You have no idea what Herky meant to me. All my animals do. And I say, my animals, I don't own them. But I have the, in the human society, I have the legal right to take care of them, to be responsible. Rights for animals, humans, plants, everything's going to change. It happens everywhere. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, we're going to, I need to explain DNA ICU seats. So there's a lot of new people watching. And uh, it's time for me to uh, explain more about what I talk about. Um, I realize when I talk, I go in different directions a lot. It's a natural thing for me. Some of it's by design. Excuse me, not through my conscious brain. Not by myself, this part of me stuck in the uh, body. Excuse me. But uh, myself out of the body that flows through it. Um, I've had people come up to me and told me about stuff I'm saying and it's... I have to go back and look at it and try and understand what they're saying and I can see it or I can't, you know. Things are what they are, just let them be. You want to know how to see things quick, strong, and believe in yourself? Just let go of any intention that, that something has to be anything else. If you don't understand something and you have a closed mind, how the hell are you going to learn anything? How are you going to change anything? How are you going to understand anything without having an open mind? You can't. Mind are like a parachute, not a function to well or one not open, huh? The immortal words of Giuseppeo, Giuseppeo, Giuseppeo. A video I did one time trying to clown around. Um, Giuseppeo and a crystal ball. Anyway, uh, it's not like I don't have a sense of humor. It's not like I don't ever feel good, but it's just... Some people might think I'm so aggressively depressive and angry. No, I'm not, it, it, except for the fact that creation's wrong and it's my job to clean it. It's like being a janitor and there's a big mess on the floor. There's people around going through it and you're not allowed to clean it up. You're not able to because you can't move. You duct tape to a chair. So yeah, that does get you annoyed. Some of you are made to, literally, it's like mother energy, artist, explorer, um, a scientist, a, a historian. These are natural frequencies that are part of all of us, folks. And you're going to start having lives in those fields and those fields only unless you really want to learn something about a different feeling. But there's other ways for that to happen, too. No one has ever run a life before, uh, before they uh, were destroyed. Um, uh, ex uh, except for the original first being male and female. They ran lives, period. No one else could. And then after they were destroyed, then, uh, you know, the spirit guide's been trying to run your li lives, doing good stuff, and this other stuff trying to run you too. But for the most part, a lot of you have been left free. It's like you're dangling without a future, and that's why so many of you have come up and said, Jay, uh, you know, all of a sudden, I, I know I'm here to do something really important. I don't know what the hell it is anymore. Well, you were supposed to tell everyone about the great Mother, Father, God. It's not just Father, God. No, it's Mother, Father, God. All praise on your knees. If they beat you, say thank you. Please hit me again. Like the turn the cheek thing in Christianity. But that didn't happen. Someone had other plans. Um, we're going to talk about the DNA ICUC first. I just have to get this, I mean, in just a second, but I had to talk about this first. There's my thoughts jumping around again. There's so much stuff going on. There's so much, stu so much stuff that I'm seeing. There's part of me that uh, um, I had to pull back, what you call spirit retrieval, uh, uh, that was uh, hanging around Hawaii. Um, it, was, it was made to where it couldn't see nothing. And I'm so busy doing stuff, I tell you, I can't hardly see stuff. Uh, Sometimes to ear, okay? He's one of the strongest telepaths in the physical creation, in the third dimension, okay? Um, he'll try to get a hold of, hold of me. He can't. And then one of my spirit guides sees this happening, one of my animals, and then comes right to me and tells me. I'm like, oh, shit. And then I go see him. But he's strong. He's source family, too. So... Doesn't mean it's better than nothing. Source that all sources is a is a category for a type of frequencies that are within uh, the spirit, which which 
its natural state is as itself, spirit. All of us are like that. But these bodies, uh, it goes into bodies too. Uh, almost everything is screwed up in creation, but the one thing that isn't screwed up is who you really are. And that's another reason why it's so important for me to get you to find yourselves, to help you find yourselves. When I say I get to get you to, it's to help you, it's not to make you. I'm tired and beat up, I can't hardly breathe, I can't get up the stairs without stopping uh, at least once, almost all the time. Sometimes I make it all the way up. I will get in anyone's face that's hurting anything, period. I will get in your face and you're going to have to kick my ass, shoot me, cut me, cut me in half, do something. Because I'm standing there and I'm not leaving because I'm not this body. I'm me. And the one thing I am is true to myself. I want all of you to be the same way. You think you're this physical body that you've been trapped in and abused with and abused in and made to think and feel different things. It's not you. The real you is so awesome. I, that's the biggest thing I want to do is to give you a way to help you somehow find yourself who you really are. Not this physical body. I'm not saying tear up your body. Please don't. Some people out there hurting themselves, cutting themselves. Come on, man, don't do that. If you had half the love for yourself that I have for you, that would never happen. And what's been messing with you, getting you to the point to do that in your head, that's been destroyed, okay? There's little pieces of crap out there don't know what to do. And they're, they're young spirit, they're strong, but they don't know how to do nothing. And they're just going, following the way that used to be. They're using the old map that puts you on 285 and says, this is how you find Atlanta. Well, 285 goes around Atlanta. It doesn't ever go in it, so to speak, anyway. Atlanta's grown real big, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Anyway, um, there's a new foundation coming. Uh, there's a, a, a new group of beings uh, coming in. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, when it's time, which means when it's happened or about to happen, then I'll say something. Uh, change in future events has never been so volatile, so aggressive as it is now because no one's running anything and you have too many little people trying to make something happen and there's no organization. That's going to change next year. I saw something on the internet. Uh, I was loading up a video and sometimes I got to wait a little bit and caught my eye about Paul Hellyer, really cool guy. I sent him an email. I was trying to help him with something. But um, but he um, honestly, he doesn't consider me a reputable source and I appreciate that. Um, he's got hope in him. He's got uh, some lighter blue, some uh, darker blue. Uh, but he needs to deal with things that are quote unquote factual in the physical world okay well let me tell you something um, this is nothing against him whatsoever I love the guy he's awesome um, he, as a matter of fact uh, uh, his uh, uh, the way he looks is so much like my dad looked my adopted dad anyway uh, uh uh, he's he he was stating that 2018 is when they're going to come here, but he's insinuating there's going to be a problem. Um, he doesn't understand. Um, I've been saying for years, for years, for years, eight years. Um, 2009, it's 2017, yeah, I guess that's right, uh, that, they're, that they'll be here, 2018, 2019, but it's 2018, and I was always seeing that around December, um, right around that area, remember the future's fluid, 
When I get to the other side and I get out of here, and I tell Deanna, Siobhan, Raj, or all the other folks, there's so many, I can't name everyone. I'm not forgetting anyone. I just can't, well, I, I can't remember anything, but I'm not intentionally leaving anyone out is what I should say. Um, uh, especially close to me, when I tell them, if they tell you that I said something's going to happen, chances are real damn good it's going to happen right then. Um, I don't want to go any further with that. Uh, I told you this is my last life in a body, and that's because I have a job. My job is to do everything I can for everything. And the bottom line, protect everything. Folks, this new first bean's coming out, four of them. They're strong. When you first come out of that first dimension, you're pretty big, you're pretty strong. Not a problem. Right now, the first dimension is sealed. How about that? Nothing comes out. Um, they understand strength, power, and they understand compassion. So, they can see, they can watch, but they can't get out. And nothing can get in. It's not like I'm so great and I can see all this stuff and all this other shit and I, you know, uh, the lower people aren't ready to, to understand or, you no, know, there's only so much stuff that any of us can understand while we're in a physical body. But there are some things I'm aware of I can't talk about yet. There's something I do to myself as spirit on the other side I could never talk to you about. We have problems out there. Things are happening. Things are being done. And as soon as that's settled down, then the problems start here. But there's a lot of stuff in body. On other planets, remember, there's over four, over four trillion planets with life in them. Many, many, many lives on the planets. How, how often do people die on this planet? And the Earth is small compared to most of them. Less than average, anyway. And there's some real jerks coming out, out of body. Anyway, uh, there are some things that just get left alone. But it, it, when I have a consult with you, I can get all the information necessary for you. Because I can get that much at one time. You don't know what it's like to be the field and be reached out everywhere and spread thin. Man, it's nuts. I ain't crying. I, you know, <laughs> it's funny. I'm wiping water out of my eyes. I've been awake since uh, five something, almost six, I guess. I finally got out of bed, but uh, I'm not getting wussy about it. Uh, I would feel a lot more satisfied if there was some way for me to, if I had the ability to just go into all of you and show you, just go into your brains and show you um, what's been going on and what is happening. That would be awesome for me. Um, and there'll be one or two hecklers hanging around somewhere and say, well, you say you're all this, well, then you should be able to do that. You know, they don't understand nothing. They have no idea. All they understand is attack what they don't know and see if they can get some attention doing it. It's kind of sad, really, but whatever. It doesn't matter. And people, don't ever let someone like that stop you or bother you. Don't let them ever stop you from opening up to become yourself because they can't and they're afraid. Everything they do comes out of greed, selfishness, and fear. Okay? Bold, bold typing, fear. Anyway, um, these other people that are source that are already and have been for a while, some of them cranking you up, making you stronger, that's going to take off. 
we have a large populace here. That's going somewhere, okay? Over when I said a uh, hundred years from now, over forty percent, somewhere close around forty-four, forty-five, whatever. Over forty percent of the population on this planet is going to be awake and aware a hundred years from now. Uh, excuse me, just a minute, and we're back. Um, had a talk with Deanna. Uh, down in Florida, all kinds of stuff going on down there too. She had some visitation last night, and we talk about things. And uh, Dan is a real strong seer. Uh, but since I took on the, uh, I've always been what I am. But since I took on these other parts of myself. Uh, the part that I pulled in in Hawaii and uh, the other part that's still staying around Hawaii to make things to help them through what's happening. Um, his name was Paola, P-A-U-O-L-A, Paola. Um, they work with me, but they don't, the filter that everyone has over here, you remember I said you all are huge. What you are inside your spirit flow, okay, the the dual core, the, the dual spirit core, flowing through your body, the part that comes from the planet, the uh, planetary uh, essence plus uh, you, as you flow through when you come out of your head, uh, when when the when the core spirit comes to the top of your head, there's a filter here, okay, and that's just kind of like a helmet, but th maybe just whatever thing like that, a frisbee that's a little bit domed. Your spirit goes through that, and then you're hanging out all, all around, all around, um, all over the place. Um, you're actually part of you is floating around the second dimension, and then most of it's here in the third dimension. Um, but anyway, uh, I I have access to a lot more information without having a fight to go through the uh, filter and go into myself that's the field outside of the body. So it's easier for me and I see more without having a fight. I said it's harder, the stronger I get, the more of me that's out, the harder it is for me to see what I want through the field. Well, it's because I have to go through the filter to get to, to that part of myself. Now I don't, you know, have to. So I wonder to help her understand something. Um, but anyway, um, okay. Like I said, there's all kinds of neat stuff happening, and when it's when it's time, and I'm not worried about anything changing or being changed. <laughs> Had a little visitor. Um, I'll tell you about it. Um, that's that's pretty neat. Anyway, uh, uh, all right. The DNA I see you see. Let's go ahead and get this talked about. Um, and I'll be introducing uh, two new foundations later, okay? Um, anyway, uh, all right. For, uh, for those of you that are newer coming in, uh, uh, I know my videos are scattered. I'm trying to put some of this stuff together by using end annotations at the end of the video to give you other ones to look at that are relative. Some of them a little bit different. It's all relative. Um, I talk about all kinds of things. Uh, our friends from other planets that are here, um, my communication with them. Uh, Dan and I interact with them all the time, but we're not the only ones. We have a lot of people here, not just family members that are talking with ETs, okay? Uh, they pop in and out of the house. Paul has had, uh, um, aggressive reptilians in and out of his house forever. <laughs> um, he's really strong energy and that, you know, powers him up. Paul Cherick. Um, uh, Brzeu Gosler. And Brzeu, I know I messed up your name. Um, uh, the one I call Serene, uh, she met her a long time before I ever started talking with her consciously. 
Um, and uh, she would call she called her shiny because you know uh, that's the nickname that Brzeu gave her. And then when Deanna and I were talking with her over here, she gave us the name Sereni. So it's like okay, um, whatever they want is what we use. You know, no big deal. If a guy's name is Richard and he's known by most everybody as Richard, and then he says, "Hey, just call me Bob," I'm going to call him Bob. It's you know, it's whatever they want. I don't have and don't want any kind of control over any of that stuff. You know, it's just me, or whatever. It's no big deal. Um, sometimes I see someone and uh, they have a real long name and I can't remember names. And I say, well, do you care if I just call you, uh, what, Sam? Instead of what, the Samuel so-and-so. Can I just call you Sam or Sammy or something? <laughs> so other people don't have that problem. Not many of them, but I, I have a bad problem trying to remember anything. I have to go see it again. And sometimes it's more difficult than others. Anyway, um, so the DNA ICUC, what the hell is this thing Jay's talking about? This guy wants a lot of money for what he does. No one else can do it. He's asking a ton of money. 900 for one person, 1200 for two. And first off... That money goes to the spiritual foundation. It's their money. It's not mine. I have something to do with the pricing. Okay? So if you want to blame someone for that, blame me. Uh, it's not that Deanna would do anything different. Because she wouldn't. Um, it's what it needs to be. Okay? Um, If I don't have my calculator in front of me, but if you take 2400 and you divide it by 9, what does that come out to? Well, if you divide it by 10, it's 240. So getting a DNA ICUC for less than 240? Yeah, you'll never find that. Not again. Uh, I mean, while I'm here, I'm offering stuff like that to do what I can. But see, we don't have time. So whatever I do has to be done in a certain amount of time. And the, the, that amount of time, Deanna needs a certain amount of money to come in. Not only is it worth that and more, and not only do people who can't afford it, they get help too, okay? Um, but uh, it acts as an incentive for more people to get together to do it. As long as we can get together on uh, uh, Skype or Zoom... I um, just started using zoom.com, Z-O-O-M.com. It comes in much better than Skype. They have their own recording process in there, too. So, uh, I just had a one terabyte solid state drive, nice one, put into my uh, laptop I do this with, so makes it easier to do this. But anyway, uh, just get a few of you together, make it less. Um, put an ad, put a contact other friends, find a way to advertise it, whatever, um, and you can get it for cheap. Um, I can't do a bunch of people for the same price because it takes more time. That other one for twenty four hundred dollars, I was on Skype for almost four hours. People, my body will get tired, but my energy does not. And now again. My energy has changed the fourth time. Not because it evolved again, so to speak, because the other three times it did, it mutated. But this is, my energy's different because it's got two lost parts of me inside me now. So I'm more, my energy's even more complete than it was. Just because I'm strong and I can, I'm just just because, I don't know how to say this, okay? I really don't. Um, I'm not overly concerned with arrogant, with sounding arrogant, but I don't want to put up, put out that thought process because I'm not. I am what I am. Not only can I not help it, I wouldn't want to because I have a function, I have a job. That's why I was made like this, and I use it to help you. So if some people have a problem with that, that's their problem, not mine. I can do this and other people can't because of what I am. It doesn't make me any better than a 
snowball in hell if there was a hell. Which of course there isn't, but it sure did scare enough people to make to put give a lot of money to religions and build these huge cathedrals. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm, if I when I laugh like that, don't think I'm laughing at all of them. I laugh at myself more than anything else. That's how I I used to be involved in this, of course, as a kid. But it doesn't matter. When I first met them, original first being male and female, I was like, holy crap! Man, was I wrong about what I was thinking? Then again, when the more you see, the more you understand, the more you feel with your heart, the more you understand, the more you trust your gut, the more you realize you do understand about things and how right it is. And when you're, in, when you're not right about something, it's because you weren't aware of something else. It's simple. Everything was done the way it is to stagnate you from uh, the process of becoming alive, becoming your full self. Because once you were especially after I pull the blocks out of you that, that allows your body, your energy to flow through your body like it should, like a river instead of a, you know, stagnant swamp with two little stream, a stream, little stream in and out, a little creek. Um, then you can see for yourself. And when I put the source energy inside you, it's not spirit, it's energy. Folks, you get strong. You get real strong. 20% of that is yours forever. It bonds with you. So it came from me, but it's now part of you, which is something I'm giving you. Almost everything is soul. So many of you are so much nicer than so much source I've met. I mean, it's just things are what they are, and they're going to get fixed to be as good as they can be for themselves, which is what makes things better for everyone, for everything. We're family, man. There's no need to sit around holding hands, singing Kumbaya, but if you want to, that's cool too. So whatever you want to do, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, there's no more controls coming come your way. <sighs> Let me turn this thing up. Oh. Oh, for Pete's sake, this, I got another new phone. I suck so bad with technology. And every time it's a new phone, it's a, it's a new thing. Okay, now let me turn this to... Where the hell is it? Okay. Anyway, um, I'm not trying to be rude, ignoring anyone. I'm just keep going. My videos, they are what they are. I say what I say. Um, it's what I know. It's what I understand. If I screw up, good. Because I just showed you. I can do what no one else can, and I screw up. You know what that means? It means don't, have, don't hold yourself to this false pro process, thought process of perfect. Of perfection. There's no such thing. Never has been. Never will be. <clears throat> okay? Y'all need to give yourselves a break. This was done to you on purpose to keep you down. I'm getting... I, I want you to take it and get rid of it for yourself. There's nothing to keep that on you anymore. What was doing that is dead. It's gone. It's time for you to literally... Let your energy flow outside of your body, just like beautiful angel wings coming out everywhere. What we call angel wings, forget the angel, just like beautiful wings coming out, okay? So you can fly like a beautiful, huge uh, bird. You all are free now. Anyway, uh, let's, let's get back to this DNA ICUC. So, um, can I go into your brain? Yes, that's proven in the quantitative electroencephalogram. Okay, there's a very poor um, two-hour video, almost two-hour video, um, when it happened with, uh, um, I'm having real hard time with my conscious mind because I'm not very conscious mind oriented now, ever since I changed what these other two parts mean inside. I'm much more, I'm much stronger, but I'm just, excuse me, 
but I just can't get it together. His name's Martin Para, uh, but I can't get it together consciously. Uh, excuse me, Martin Para out in Sweden. Uh, awesome. It, it was a beautiful event, but we didn't have the expensive photographic equipment set up to do it properly. Um, and neither of us had ever done it before, so it is what it is. But the results that came from it are there. And uh, I should go back and take that video and cut just little pieces out of it so you can get the gist of it and then put that on the uh, uh, website. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, all right. Now, what, what the quantitative electroencephalogram results prove, they did a test on Martin. They hook up electroencephalogram, quantitative... They, they, they hooked up the equipment to Martin's head for the quantitative electroencephalogram and then ran wires from it for their sensors that pick up electromagnetic pulses and uh, uh, the the width of it, the strength of it, the intensity, and then they send that inf information through electrical uh, pulses to a, uh, a computer which diagnoses everything through the quantitative electroencephalogram program and it shows the activity in the brain. So they did the test first. Uh, and what is, is, you can't finagle that unless you're some kind of, I don't know, You'd probably have to be a computer genius and know somehow to, you know, do something. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not that big on doing stuff with computers. But that would take someone really intelligent uh, to do something like that. Uh, and besides, that's what's real. Uh, you listen to the lady when she talks. She explains this is just, you know, the difference in the results are dramatic. And then when a computer prints out the... Uh, um, the whatchamacallit, the thing it shows. Um, you'll notice that there's not just more activity. When I went to see what it is, this measures um, uh, Martin's brain activity going through a certain test. And then the test went, then, then she, you know, resets the computer, looks at it, makes sure everything's fine, and then she does the test again. But this time, I went into his hypothalamus, only his hypothalamus. But what I tell you about the hypothalamus, and what have I told you? It's a nexus, the control, a meeting point. It's not a control point, but it's a meeting point of all the different uh, abilities. So by hitting that, I went into other stuff. If I would have put my energy just in his whole head, it would have been freaky. Okay, but still, <laughs> it's pretty freaky when you look at it. Uh, doctors and uh, psychiatrists, um, all of them, when they look at this, this is like, holy crap, everything changed, and it all changed proportionally. They realized the, the doctors, the medical doctors, the MDs, and the psychiatrists, not the psychologists, they, they understand too, but the psychiatrists that's actually got the PhD, whatever, they understand it too when they saw it. That's why when I put myself in a rehab center, I was proving a point. I was also trying to protect my house. I had to protect my house, and that's why that happened. But I also knew I wasn't going to go, and there was a reason that I wasn't aware of at the moment for why that was happening. And Herky was starting to have seizures. So, I, and I've, I've saved animals all my life. And I've saved so many with seizures. Um, I couldn't see Herky go through that. And I didn't want to go through that myself. It's not right to him, and it's not right to me. When a dog goes through seizures, they don't know what's going on for the moment, but they jerk so much they can hit their mouth and they wake up from a seizure. They don't remember ever having a seizure, but their mouth hurts because they twisted their head and hit something, and they look at you like you hurt them, or they say, what happened to me, and they look at you like that. So um, that's the horrific thing about seizures. That should never happen. You have no idea what's been done to you, and all for the wrong reason. It was for the joy of praise uh, from the original uh, to the original from you to the original first being male and female, now dead. So things are going to change in a very big way. You'll see. I'll tell you, and it'll be forgotten that I told you, but you know what? It's going to happen, and that's what matters. Now, um, so with this DNA ICUC. When they uh, the quantitative electroencephalogram, when they when they when they went ahead and did it, when you see the printed out results of before and after they're put together, um, you tell me what you think. Uh, I did another one which shows you about the same increase, but it shows almost no activity whatsoever. There's a problem with the apparatus. It shows that um, my <laughs> it shows my friend uh, out in uh, uh, Texas. 
uh, that his brain's almost dead. And then when you saw, you know, what happened when I went into him, it's twice that. But still, it's there. The, there's it's, it was a, an equipment problem. Now the 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 woman that does this, uh, she's very smart, very intelligent. Um, she's used to reading that. She can read that and come up with a very good diagnosis. But for us to show you, it, it's it doesn't have the. Uh, um, it won't have the same effect to help you understand the difference in what's happening because it didn't give you the full readout. So, and folks, I'm tired of doing this. I am what I am. As people say, Jay, before I have a consult with you, I want you to prove to me who you are. And I say, man, I love you. Take care. Goodbye. Consult denied. It's like, you know, what do you want me to do? Tell me how many fingers you have behind your back? I'm not here for that, and I'm not your little circus monkey. I've already proven, proven who I am in many different ways. I'm here to do a job and get the hell out so I can do the big job for everyone. I'm not here for me. So, uh, and, and I understand why you want that. I respect that thought process, but it ain't happening. Sorry. People have said that before, and I knew they needed the, you know, the, um, uh, the work done to them. I know they needed the quote-unquote free energy work done to them. So I'd sit and talk to them for about three minutes about their family and stuff going on in their life, what's going on with them. There's no way I could have known any of that. You want to do something you don't tell anybody? How did I get that off the internet? And when you tell them four, five, six, seven, eight things like that, then they say, holy crap. I said, okay, now if you still want to, you know, if you're concerned about this, don't do it. It's a lot of money. Make yourself happy. <coughs> Excuse me, buy something you want that'll make you happy for the physically for the moment. If you want to do it, fine. There's not been not too many, but there have been some people I needed to turn down. It wasn't right for them in the moment. So it's like we didn't even talk yet. You know, I said, no, no it's not going to help you right now. You're at the point of becoming somewhat aware of things, but you don't trust yourself. I have to go inside you, work on that and everything, and you're not going to get out of it what you need. And some of them, they're not at that point where they're ready for it. So, uh, uh, when if you have a lot of doubt um, in yourself and you're starting to wake up, that's normal. But before you can go from point A to point B, you have to just be warmed up and be feeling it. Okay? Um, One of the hardest things about waking up is being able to release the thought process in your head that you are fine, that there's nothing wrong with you, that you are a beautiful being, that you don't understand the extent of who you really are, what you can really do. Um, some people really don't know what they want, where they're going, what's going to happen, and that's makes that's most of us. But uh, I've met some people that are really young souls, and uh, some of them from the fifth uh, fifth wave of souls coming out, and uh, it's not just them, but they're not ready for this yet. Not a spirit, and definitely not in the body. How many times has it happened? Three, four, five times. In how many years? So, and when I get out, well, I'll be out of my body real soon, just a few months, and when uh, they're out of the body, I'll take care of them. This DNA ICU, see folks, it does change your DNA. There's scientists and geneticists right now in the process of proving this. The scientific process does not say, oh, I saw something, that's cool, we measured it, great. No, they have to do this, test subject this, to, you know, uh, the control group. But folks, there's a lot of stuff involved in this, okay? Before, real scientists, not, there's a lot of scientists that are cool, they're real scientists, but they don't act like it because they need grants to keep going. They're not famous. They don't have the most expensive equipment in the world because they're doing all they can with what they have. And that's fracking awesome. 
and they have the fortitude to keep going, wow, if that's not respectable, I don't know what is. Um, but they need to get uh, grants from governments and stuff just to get to the point where they will be noticed for what they can do. So sometimes they lean towards a thought process trying to prove it um, in order to keep going with their own research and what they really want to do. So that's why these other folks are not like that. They have other countries uh, approaching them for help to do what they, you know, to find out things about genetic genetics and stuff, okay? DNA and uh, health, all kinds of stuff. And like I said, their equipment, these scientists that are involved with proving this uh, in regards to myself and th this process being possible, uh, they're in Spain. And uh, they're very serious. They've met me and this, uh, the head scientist has. So, when I gave the process, he'd already, it was already in the works but I went ahead and gave him a DNA ICU scene. He was like, he literally said, how are you doing this? Then I made a joke and he goes, I told him I had a, uh, like an Xbox Game Boy and I was controlling a satellite hitting his head. Um, and he, he was serious. He looked at me without laughing or smiling. He goes, no, really, how do you do this? I, I try to explain it's just energy and then uh, Deanna helped me a little more. She's from Spain and she can explain things better. But uh, I, do, I do go into you with my energy, not my spirit, my energy. And I reformat your DNA. Here's what happens, okay? Now, while we, while we do this, you have to have your own proof, too. You have to have your own proof. Um, how can you... You have to have your own understanding. Why should anyone listen to me? Well, lots of times you feel what I am inside and you connect with that. Why? I've been around a long time. I've always been known as a thing of honor. In this life when I was a little kid, hey, I was a kid growing up. I finally became self-aware. Uh, I've always had this thing about honor, period. But when I became self-aware, um, that does change how you feel and act about everything. You see people getting all excited about stuff. Used to be you might go along with it. Um, just being part of the the group that you're in. It's like your own little family. But when you become yourself, you don't get worried about the, uh, excuse me, the hustle and bustle of work. You deal with it, but you don't get worried about it, which enhances you to make better decisions and see more, understand more. Um, you're becoming, you're gaining more fullness in who you really are, Okay. That's the DNA I see you see. Uh, also, it changes your DNA. The regular I see you see changes your DNA. Okay, but the DNA I see you see, no, that's totally re revamping it. Okay, um, so let me explain the process. Okay, now I'm going to attach some videos to the end of this that are uh, uh, what I call progress reports. I, when people have had this, I ask them to get in touch with me when they feel it's appropriate. And let me know how it's uh, how it's been. And I've put um, um, uh, I do it uh, for those that want to. I tell them we'll do it on video, and say you're okay with this. They say yes. You know, of course, we keep the emails. But uh, uh, there's some good videos on this, um, and this does this is real. It's about to be proven. People say, "Where's the proof?" I said, "It's coming." But you have to have your own proof immediately. So this is, this is what we do, okay? Now, first I go into you, you know, we, we make the appointment, you pay first, we make the appointment, um, and then we get together on Skype or something. I'm not, I've done it by phone and email and never had a problem. Uh, uh, the thing is, it's more fun when you do it on video and when I look at, when, when you go to, when I get you to feel your aura, you're, you're feeling shells, energy shells within your aura when, when this happens, 
it's harder for me. Do I do it? Yes. Can I do it? Yes. Um, or I should have said, can I do it? Do I do it? Yes, yes. Um, but I have to take the time to go out and look at you through the field when I you do this. And I don't have to, actually. I can do it um, easier without having to go through that filter. But just the same, it takes too much time. It's a lot more fun to do it on Skype um, or, you know, Zoom, whatever, uh, to do it by uh, uh, video conversation. Uh, and that's, it's easiest for me. I'm offering more than I ever had before. And that's how it's going to be. Whatever amount I have left in me, when I say that, um, I know I'll be here through April. And after that, it gets real sketchy. Or at least into April. Up to the end of it, if not through it. Um, so it's, uh, that's how it's going to be done, period. And it's really easy to download Skype or Zoom. Zoom is uh, more accurate. It's better, better pictures. Anyway, uh, uh, C-O-O-M dot com. So, what we're going to do um, is I'm going to go into you. And I'm going to uh, use literally unicorn energy, those frequencies. Um, you'll find it in this stone, what they call peacock ore. I call it unicornite. It's actually boronite and calcopyrite. But anyway, I take that, those frequencies and I just go through your body. I go from underneath your feet like this all the way through the body. Okay. Then I pull out frustration, you know, different abuse frequencies that are inside you. I pull them right out of you. And then again, the unicorn energy. Now, when I say unicorn, these are not, the unicorn is not a fluffy, puffy animal like all the little pictures. And the angels with the beautiful wings, folks, it's spirit. It's free form spirit energy. It's like a field of energy that has no exact shape, but it, if you can see it the way I see it, it does have something of a shape, but just it's continually moving within itself, but it has a basic outline that it stays within. Um, if you think of a water balloon that's always changing, but really stretching everywhere, that's what it's like, okay? Anyway, uh, a cross between that and an amoeba that has all these weird things coming out, uh, arms and legs, so like, it's like this, pieces like that. It goes, it's changing all the time too, okay? Anyway, it's hard to describe this stuff. Um, so, um, here I am falling away again, darn it. Uh, so anyway, uh, so unicorn energy is very strong, very aggressive, very cleaning. Okay, very strong silver energy too. I use that to just relax you, clean you. It's like uh, washing your hands and then rinsing them off. Okay, or if you had hair, washing your hair and rinsing it out. Okay, um, and then pull abuse frequencies out, do it again, and that calms you down. Then we go to feel your aura. And those of you that want to do this, and I, I know it's whatever. I'm not even going to go there. Um, before, before you, those of you that want to do this, before you have the um, the consult, almost every single one of you is going to be feeling a little rough in the head and everything else. Um, you get a little dizzy, feel a little pressure. Uh, your gut feels a little funny. Your heart has some weird palpitations. That's because I'm already working on you through the field, okay? It's already getting you ready. So it, it's like a, a pre-start, okay? Um, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Uh, go ahead and sign up, and we'll, we'll get this done and handled. Um, I might be able to do this all the way up until April. Um, I expect I will until the body's finally ready to die. And then when the body's ready to die, then I, I won't be able to do it anymore. But then... By the time that happens, I expect within a week, a week and a half, two weeks or something, um, maybe just a little more, the body will die. So uh, anyway, um, so then as you do that, put your hands over your head, okay? It's kind of like this. I'm getting out of the frame here. Put it over your head and then slowly, very slowly come down towards your head, towards the middle of it, do not let your fingers touch, okay? So you come down like this and you wait to feel a little pressure, a little warmth, tingling. Sometimes when your solar plexus, and, and your very strong solar plexus, your, uh, your solar plexus, all, all of your abilities are always working, 
but sometimes the body you're in produces more of a certain type of energy. And when a solar plexus coming through that way, sometimes you'll actually know, and, and when you relax, look to the side, all of a sudden you just know, boom, there it is. Do you feel anything? No. But you know, you understand, your gut feeling tells you, boom, there it is, and you'll see it in your head, or you just know. Okay, that's you literally conversing through the field and knowing through the field, okay? So boom, you say, I would say, okay, it's right there. I want you to feel that, and I want you to understand it. Okay, and then put your hands out to the side, move them around a little bit, and see what you feel where. And go slow. I'm going much faster than I should be. <coughs> Excuse me. No, you're not going twice. Okay, um, so just relax, and see what you feel, and then feel it. Remember that. And the more you do it, the more you're going to be comfortable with it. Now, when we start doing this, I'm going to clean you out, pull abuse frequencies out, flush that out, just kind of rinse everything off, make everything nice and clean and resting and uh, restful and happy. Uh, then you're going to feel it again. Okay. Then uh, what I do is I go inside your core energy and I, I'll go like this. I just put energy in your core and I slowly pull it out more until you have this huge rod that's inside you. It's literally most all your body. Okay, that's putting the source energy, not spirit, energy inside you. Okay? Uh, my spirit belongs to me. It's not going anywhere. My energy is going in there. And I got a lot. Okay? Someone asked me, Jay, you know, as much as you do this, doesn't this take away from you? It's... Up. Oh, doorbell. And back again. Man, it's taken me a long time to get this video out. Um, that was a FedEx man coming. I was waiting on that. Bought a bottle of Hall. Hall's a nice winery out in uh, California, Napa Valley, and also, um, oh, heck, I forgot the name of it. Um, but it's out in California. Uh, this bottle is 1873, is the name of it. It's 2013. So. Cabernet Sauvignon, Napa Valley. Anyway, uh, I was waiting on that. Had to sign for it. The um, I'm working on myself. I'm outside of the body right now, so I'm really dizzy. I'll try to finish this. Uh, um, I realize my videos take a long time and they're a little bit scattered but it's it's just natural it's me and it's okay if you want fake look at something else on the internet there's plenty of it that is anyway it's also some good people that just don't understand stuff why because they're not awake and they try to use a conscious mind to put stuff together that's how religions, that and forcing people to have a thought process by the original first angels, also now gone. The few that are left are awesome. Most all of them that are left have been cranked up real hard, real strong with source energy. Um, they've been servants forever, and now they're not. They have nothing to serve. It's time for them to be who they really are, individuals. Anyway, um, so back to the uh, DNA ICUC. <coughs> um... Every, there's a few times through the process that I want you to feel this, and it's going to feel different. It's going to change. Okay? Now, when it does, what does that do? That tells you something happened. That's all it does. But it does do that emphatically. Something changed. Why? Because you feel it yourself. You feel it yourself. Over, it's just like, what's going on? Okay, now that's not me using a mind trick. I can't do that. The CIA used to be so worried about me when I take off and go on the plane. The FBI and Homeland Security came to my front door years ago. 2012. They said, we're, we're reading your emails. You know, we're watching you. It's like... Trying to understand what's... They want to understand what's going on. They don't say much. They say something and they wait for you to answer them. Or to say something. I'm not afraid of that. This um, last lawyer I talked to, he understands I'm not afraid of that. Um, if I want to, under, to um, stare someone down, I can't easy because I, I got nothing to hide. And what I am, not this body, what I am, 
<laughs> Good luck beating it. It was made what it is, and so it functioned properly to take care of stuff, be a janitor with a big hammer. So, anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, getting back on target, on topic. So, when you feel the stuff yourself, you're finding out something for yourself. What you are finding out is that something is going on. And when you feel it inside you, okay. Um, you had that, you had a feeling that it was right before you spent that money. Nine to $1,200 is a ton of money. What you get out of that is something you keep forever. It changes what you are. And you will see your body physically change. Um, and just uh, check out the progress reports of these different people. Um, it doesn't matter who you are or what you think you are. It matters what's in your heart. Okay? that Because that's who you are. That's who you really are. Um, the sum total of the different frequencies that make up you while it's inside that body. That's what I see. That's what I, I work with the physical body. But I have to have that person inside. And that's almost everyone. Okay? There's very few people. Anybody that's interested in this, almost every single one of you is, is you know, it, it, it's, good, it's good to go with it. People who are aggressive, negative, no. Um, are you aggressive about doing things? Fine. As long as it's not to hurt someone, that's awesome. The Anunnaki, the great reptilians destroying the evil destroyers. For Pete's sake, man, they're reptilian. They're aggressive. All of us have a reptilian DNA inside us uh, from uh, the civilization, from the process of bringing a civilized body to this planet for uh, uh, for spirit to go in, into the bodies to have lives. Uh, book number two, where is it? It's hidden here somewhere. This one here. Creation, its journey above and into paradise. I talk about all that stuff. Um, Atlantis, how the reptilian DNA got in your body, uh, how uh, Lemuria came to be, uh, how it went away, uh, some of the planets that were involved in colonizing different uh, islands that were there. Um, Atlantis, the same thing. But Atlantis was uh, um, different than Lemuria. But look, folks. Get the book, read about it if you want. To, it's we're trying to do a quick video here, and besides, those books are great for you. Okay, I'm finishing touching up uh, this book here. Okay, I'm rewriting certain stuff. When I this book here, book number one, that's finished. I've rewritten it. Okay, when I say rewriting it, I'm talking about not talking about going all the way through it. I took out a couple little typos and I added a um, a chapter on uh, uh, the what we call the Shahi. Uh, S I D H E is how it's spelled, and I think it's Gaelic. If I'm wrong, hey, whatever, I'm wrong, but I'm trying to uh, communicate here the best I can. Uh, so uh, they're the ones that look more like the elves you see on TV. And it's so obvious to me that I left that out because I didn't. It's like, well, everyone, you know, it's like that's already known because they see it on TV. Um, no, it wasn't known. I need to have it in there. Uh, I was talking with a lawyer recently um, about uh, um, uh, prices of the consults, and I looked at him, and he has the price of the consults now. So I told him how it started, what they cost in the beginning, and then it went to you know a uh, certain amount of money when I was doing this with Michelle, and uh, had I been in court, of course, yeah, you know, I I know that they don't know, and I I need to give more information, but I. That's just how I see things. Uh, that's how I, uh, you know, I need to be more careful with it. I, it's nothing that won't be shown to be the truth it is. So I can't get trapped up in stuff like that. It, it, you know, um, you can try to trip me up, but it ain't going to happen. Um, and I don't say that of arrogance. I say it because all I have to do is tell you the truth that you don't know yet. And I do it out of love compassion and honor why do you think that's a new format anyway let's get away from that um let's get back to what's really important in you and these crank ups um 
uh, it's not just regular crank up, it's a DNA ICUC. Now, okay, um, I got, we got to the point where I just kind of clean your energy, unicorn type energy, and then um, I use, uh, uh, I pull the abuse frequencies out of you, then I rinse that out with unicorn energy again, then I go inside you and I take my um, uh, source spirit, I go into your core, I was going to say your core spirit, well, my core spirit, I don't, I, I go into your uh, core spirit with my uh, source and spirit only, uh, um, energy only. I put it in there, open it up until it's, you're almost, your whole body is inside this column of source spirit. Most of you are going to feel it. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can see it. You can relax. You don't have to believe it because you're going to find out. When I do these, they are much softer than what happens to you later. Okay, that now later your nose doesn't bleed, blood doesn't come out your eyes and your ears. It's not like that, but you're going to feel it. This is real. But the application is a little more tender. Okay, will you feel it? Almost everyone does. At one point or another, everyone does. Um, someone very close to me has been my brother many lives. He's very strong solar plexus. He's very involved in what's going on, and he's very important to me. Uh, he's he's my beautiful brother as far as I'm concerned, um, and uh, he's he was he's aware and feeling and but he can't he's never felt it. When I went into him and did the DNA ICUC, he finally felt something. It's that strong. It's stronger than a regular crank up. Regular crank up, you'll have five to ten percent of what you're given is going to be staying with you forever. Source uh, energy, whether it's me or someone else that does it, okay? But and I don't do those anymore. All I do is a DNA ICUC, okay? But when you do a DNA ICUC, twenty percent of what I put in you is going to stay there, okay, forever. Um, anyway, so uh, it doesn't come out. Okay, if it does come out, you would have to go crazy uh, trying to abuse something, and you're not going to do it anyway, otherwise, you'd never be given it. <sighs> trying to find a way right now to express something, but it's best I don't. Um, anyway, uh, uh, this. Is something you pay for, yet it it is a gift. You keep it forever. Um, and it, if you're almost everything soul, like I've said, this changes what you are. Your soul becomes something different, very unique, and much more powerful. Um, there's so many souls I know with so much love in their hearts. They're so incredible. I feel them and my heart just opens up. My eyes want to start watering. You know, it's just, y'all have no idea how awesome you are. You really don't. Um, you're the ones that get more stuff done. You, the seers. I take care of the big stuff. And then I'm busy doing that and keep and doing everything else I can. But that's my job. As soon as I get out of the body, very soon. And still, it is right now. But we'll leave that alone, too. Um. Anyway, um, back to the DNA ICUC. Um, so after I do that, go into your core and put source spirit, uh, source energy inside it. I'm getting hammered. Um, then I go inside, in between the solar plexus and the heart. Okay, it's a little bit below the heart. I put a ball of source energy inside you and I slowly open it up, make it bigger and bigger until literally I see you floating inside it. That's when I start DNA work, uh, DNA, um, you know, work, period. Um, it, everybody that does the ICUC, the source, family, you have to be source to do it, but um, the, the source family members that are here doing crank-ups, that's the intensive crank-up consultation ICUC. They'll call it whatever they want, to, you know, it, it's whatever, but that's what it actually is by my own terminology. Um, uh, when they do that, it changes your DNA. It has to. Your DNA strands are just so big. When you have source energy inside you, you need bigger wiring. If you look at the wire that goes, of course, everything's almost almost everything's Bluetooth now, wireless. But uh, um, if you look at the old stereo speakers and the little wires that come out and go to a, uh, goes from the main unit to the speaker, they're small. If you look at the wires coming into your house, they're big. 
Why? Because they're carrying more energy. So your DNA has to change at that point to start growing and get stronger. It also changes. It does more than that. It, it does start softening and changing, uh, slightly mutating the uh, DNA. Okay, it's not, it's not a DNA ICUC. Totally different. The DNA ICUC is a reformat of your DNA relative to what you have. Okay? You don't become an alien from another planet. You don't, None of that. But what you are right here on this planet, it literally puts you way ahead in the future. You'll see for yourself. Um, uh, now, uh, uh, what this is, people who have had this done that you're going to hear on the videos that are offered at the end of this uh, video, uh, the ones to watch, if you watch them, that'll help you make up your mind whether or not this is something you want to do. Um, these people are good people, they're honest, and they're explaining the best way they can about what happens. One of the best ones I wanted on there is uh, Ken Labor. He and his wife are so important to what's happening, and they're going to do incredible things, period. Period. But uh, when I did the Skype with him, it's just all messed up. But he and I will do another one before it's over, but we'll use Zoom.com. So many of you are so cool, man. Um... Don't take this the wrong way. I'm st stronger than anything else. Nothing can mess with me, period. You can beat this body up, run it over with a truck, cut it in half with a chainsaw. You can't kill me, though. But I exist for one thing. That's to serve. Don't tell me what to do. But I will, do, I will use everything I have to do what I know is right for you. Okay? You call that arrogant, call it whatever you want. I don't care about that like I care about the fact I need to do what I need to do. Um, anyway, um, the people that call me arrogant, they don't understand. But the, the stronger you get, the, the more you're aware of, the more you understand about yourself, for yourself, what's around you. And you can understand me a little better, but that's not important. The important thing is for you to understand yourself, number one, and number two, what's around you. That's what this is all about. It's about all the creation, improving itself and being free to be itself. So, uh, anyway, um, so um, I go, I build up this field of energy, of uh, uh, source uh, energy that's inside you, and I make it bigger and bigger, and at that point, both, I'm looking at both of you, the you that's in that body having a, a visiting the body to have a life and the, the spirit from the planet that it was broken off a little over 11 million years ago. Well, that's in book number two, Creation, uh, um, its journey evolving into paradise. Um, and uh, it's the two of you are inside there. I can look at both of you and talk to you. I can do it anyway. But I mean, that's when the two of you, I'm looking right at you because I'm in there. Um, and then I, that affects your whole physical body. It affects your spirit, uh, the spirit from the planet. You're giving them a gift too. Um, uh, there's only one per person in there, but you know, it's more one. Of, there's more than one of you doing it, of course. So I said them. Um, I'm trying to be accurate in what I say. I'm doing the best I can. Um, no such thing as perfect. Don't try to be perfect, because all you can do is frustrate yourself. Go for improvement and, and just take it step at a time. Um, what do they say? Each journey begins with one foot. And, well, you don't say your journey ends because once you start it, you keep on going one time or another. You might sit down, you might go back, and then you, next thing you know, you're going forward again. You all don't know how cool you are yet, but it's happening. Um, you have no idea your power, what you can do. Um, anyway, um, so we take care of that. Then after that, um, then I go, it's time to go in the brain. Okay, I go to the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is the nexus point of all your abilities, the uh, meeting center. It's not a control point, but the original first angels, and they were servants. They were made to be servants. They were controlled by the original first being male and female, and they did what they were told. If not, they were in trouble. And they were huge, strong, but nothing compared to the original first being male and female halves. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, the original angels would take their energy. If you think of an angel, 
uh, spirit as being what most of us see, uh, a person in robe with a big uh, uh, wings coming out. If you imagine those wingtips, both of them going down through the upper crown into the middle crown, down into the lower crown, and then into the hypothalamus gland. When they get into the hypothalamus gland, they not just run you, but if they put the if they go into the hypothalamus gland and say you will beat the hell out of your head with that door, you will go up to the next door and you will literally beat the hell out of yourself until they say to stop. And then when they pull their energy out of you, you're like, what the hell did I do that for? Yes, yeah, some of you ever go through that? Yes. More than once? Usually. Um, that's a control put on you. I'm leaving you a ton of information because it's important to you, but it helps me too. It helps me help you become yourself. Anyway, um, and the ones that are left are, no one has angels on them anymore. They're all gone, okay? Um, very few people will notice that because they, lots of times they're talking with their spirit guides and they think it's, they're talking with their angels. Well, no, it's not a spirit guides. They're, they're you when you're out of a body. You're usually, those of you that I'm talking to, got a lot of heart in you and you and you care you you help other people out while they're stuck in the body too why because you care because you're fracking awesome that's why anyway um all right uh trying to stay on topic but there's things i need to tell you <sighs> come on heart don't do that to me um all right now get away from that uh there's so much going on right now that it's not relative to this my heart issues and everything else. I shouldn't have another heart attack for a while. Maybe January next year or something. Who knows? I'm not looking for a date. I just know it's going to happen. Anyway, um, the uh, okay DNA I see you see when. Uh, so what I do, um, when they go into the hypothalamus, they're controlling everything your sense, all your senses or your abilities, and it's right inside your core. So they run your brain. They run your abilities. You're, by, well, you're going to think you're using all your abilities to know something, and you're not. You're being made to know something. When two people fall in love, okay, not always, but almost always, the angels will go into your core the the, the uh, base uh, core energy or uh, energy focal point the uh, um, uh, base chakra to put their energy in there and then they like their energy going up the spine and they like the, when they do that they light up the endorphins in your body and ah oh, you fall in love like that now it's happening now naturally and by spirit guides doing the same thing trying to keep your life going somewhere they've never had to do this this is you out of a body doing this for someone else you you've never done this. No one has ever done this except the original first being male, female, now dead. They're destroyed, whatever, deleted. That's a better word. Um, so anyway, uh, and don't get mad at them. You know, let's not do that. Um, not telling you what to do, but come on. You all heart, that's why you're listening to me. Almost, almost every single one of you. Anyway, <clears throat> heart, pineal, you know, strong. Want to come awake. Um... You were supposed to be here to listen and praise the Mother, Father, God and tell people that, but you're not. Now you're here and you're about freedom. Freedom of spirit to be itself. Freedom of you to be yourself. There's no praising anything. Praise is a totally false concept. If you praise something, why is it allow, allowing you to do that? If something's worth your praise, number one, it wouldn't want you to do that. Number two, if it could stop it, it would. Because it would be saying, no, I don't want that because we're all equal. We're family. We don't have to eat together at the same table, but we're family. But we exist within creation itself. We're equal. We're equal. Uh, i got to hurry up. Um, I'm getting ready to get worked on hard. Uh, I have to do this, keep getting stronger, seeing more, doing more, incorporating these two other parts of me I've bonded with, my personal spirit retrieval, and then at the same time, kill the body a little further. <laughs> Talk about coming and going, huh? That Jay, he's insane, he's crazy. Now I've got two bar boards of psychiatrists that say I'm not. And my lawyer 
and the opposing lawyer are going to have access to this information in court. So, this case is this court case is for me to get um, receive what's been taken from me and any retribution the court deems fit. But uh, it's also in the process taking um, a discussion about metaphysical abilities to court. Everything's going to be fine. Um, this one lawyer I talked to, uh, he's not aware yet. He's source inside. He's source from Aaron Lilly. First time I saw this individual, I smiled. I already knew, but, you know, um, this person is a person of honor. He's a good person. I looked this person in the eye and told him. Um, sometimes people think when someone has abilities, they know everything, but no. Can you see this? You can't see that, then you're not real. Why? Because you think there's a perfect God? And you expect me to be like this God thing? There's no such thing as God. It's original first being male and female. They're gone. There's no such thing as perfect. If you don't make a mistake, you're not doing anything. You're not trying. If you want to find out who you really are and push it, you have to push your limits. And if you're pushing your limits, you're going to make mistakes. They are not bad things. They are progress, point, uh, progress points, progress reports to yourself to make a modification to the journey that you're going on. We want to, we're going to take this road instead because this one gets where we, gets us where we're going faster. It's a map. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of love for everything. Anyway, uh, so um, I go into the hypothalamus. I crank that up. Sometimes I change it a little bit. Sometimes you, I don't want to say about what you're going to feel here and there. Because if I say this, then when we do it, you might think, well, it could have been because Jay said it. No. Um, I go into the hypothalamus. Then I go into the lower crown, floats above it. It's kind of like a blanket. Like, here's the hypothalamus. It's like a blanket right here and one that was raised and then opened up a little bit. That's what the energy field of the lower crown looks like. And then I go into the middle crown, which is like a, if you imagine a big uh, magnifying glass that sits sitting like this on your head and then it just sinks down on your head right about here. That's where your uh, the middle crown is, okay? And it takes energy coming in. So I can think of it like a concave thing. It's, it's not, but it, like it, it would take it and funnel the information coming in into the uh, lower crown. And the lower crown and the hypothalamus is like an energy storm going between them all the time. That that actually creates understanding, okay? Um, that and the heart, those things working together. Um, so anyway, so it's like a focus point. I clean that. I, I remodify it if it's necessary. If not, I leave it alone, buddy, uh, as far as the shape. But I don't leave anything in your head alone. Your whole body's coursing with spirit. Um, uh, I, I want to tell you more about what you might feel. I can't because this has to be your journey, Okay. I've said enough to be honest, give you a little bit of a heads up, and that's it. So, and then from there, then I go into the upper crown. I go in and I open up your head. I go in your crown and I just go, so more gets in and out. Okay? Um, if you feel it, what you're going to feel, you'll find out. Um, so, anyway, so, and then. Um, I've already released the uh, energy in your body. Once I do that, then I go in and I release, or I've done it just before. I go in your body and I pull out the energetic entanglements, whatever you want to call it, uh, restrictions that are keeping your energy from flowing the way it should through your body. I pull that out. Okay, that changes your aura. So, but anyway, but I, if I, if I have enough time and it's not a lot of people... I just go ahead and I, I don't release everything to flow until after I'm, I've finished working on your brain because I want you to feel the ore again. And then I release the flow and then you feel it again and it changes to something different. I'm not going to say what, but it changes. So you keep feeling change as I do things to you. That helps you understand, all right, this J guy, I don't know what the hell's going on. But you know what? He's doing something. Is he going into my head and make me think this? Because he didn't give me enough information for me to think this on my own ahead of time. Well, 
even though you, you might not, if you're very skeptical, skeptical about things, and that's cool, you want to know. But then if, what is the least that tells you is that I'm in your head doing something. And no, I don't have the ability to make someone do something. Now, I mentioned this earlier. Uh, uh, I started to. Uh, the CIA used to go freak out when I get to the airport. They didn't understand me yet. They thought I can go in people's brains and control them. And over the last, what, five, six, seven year, eight year, what, 2012 is when they were at the house. Um, but they've been learning more and understand, no. They also know the change that's going on with the Anunnaki getting out here off this planet. I got something to do with that, big time. So they understand. The people at the top of your government agencies know what the hell I am. They leave me alone. I went down to the air when I went to the airport to go to Hawaii. Those planes have a lot of fuel in the wings. They used to worry about me going any anytime I get in a plane anywhere. They'd be worried about me going into the pilot's head controlling them and make them crash a plane somewhere and then I die in this fit of glory or something. That, that's For me, that's insane. For them, they didn't know. They don't have that problem anymore. I just Dan and I just went to Hawaii. We took a 757 all the way over to uh, California, to LA airport. Um, when I got in the Atlanta airport here, there was one man looking at me. There was satellite feeds always on me from somebody. Um, and then there's another person that was nearby watching, listening. Um, it's more like coordination stuff. Um, what was he in the van? What was he? I don't know and I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, I, I'm not interested in that. I don't have time to waste on that. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, and, but there was no concern. It's just like there he is. Just keep an eye on him. Just, you know, record his movements. No big deal. They used to think I was a threat. But the things, the Anunnaki have been running this planet for a long time. I told you the Drock and Antis and some other really cool folks have gotten rid of them. There's very few of them left anymore. Well, the people that used to, there's the Anunnaki had a group of physical human beings that would work for them directly. And then underneath them, there was another group. And this other group underneath them would run the governments and tell the governments what they're going to do. They've been running the wars and all this other stuff. Money, everything else. And uh, the Anunnaki are no longer the top end, the top echelon of that, the problematic Anunnaki. Anunnaki are cool as hell. Awesome. Beautiful being. Their culture is so rich it'll blow your mind as soon as you're introduced to it. It's not time yet. Okay, but the ones that were here on this planet were problematic. Uh, not all the people themselves, but the ones running them, yes. Um, they've destroyed, all their, their generations have destroyed planets. Uh, abusing them. Um, anyway, uh, they're also not cannibalistic like they used to be. Some of them are, but that's not uh, the people themselves almost completely are not. Um, so they're awesome beings, but the ones here are the ones I'm talking about that are, have been problematic. But they're no longer there existing, running anything. Okay? They're gone. And the Draconantis came in here, and later on, when it's time, you'll find out that the old fart and overalls actually had something to do with that. Uh, you're going to hear a, a lot of that straight from the drock themselves and to ear. Um, to ear still, you know, trying to work with uh, Corey, Corey Good, about stuff. Uh, anyway, um, so getting back to the DNA ICU safe. Um, I'll go in and. Uh, uh, get this other work done I was talking about. Uh, I go through the uh, last thing I talked about was opening up the crown. Then I just let you relax a little bit. Then I go in and I go into the pineal gland. And I put energy in the pineal and make it bigger, stronger. I clean whatever needs to be cleaned. I put in you the source energy relative to the pineal gland, but also other frequencies of cleaning it, plus pure source spirit, uh, energy itself. Um, and then it, I'm seeing the energy in me, and I'm seeing the spirit in it when I say this, instead of what goes in you. Um, anyway, um, so we do this, and uh, then I rebuild your pineal field. And then I go into the scanner. The scanner is, I never used to talk about it too much, I can now. Um, you have so many little, little focal points of energy 
inside your brain. They're all over the place. I put my energy into them. I touch all of them. I connect with them. I manipulate them as far as making them stronger. Straightening out what needs to be straightened out. And then I, from inside your brain, with my fingers, I come out like this. And I build a new scanner field. The scanner is used for ESP. Um, uh, the basic ESP uh, protocols, um, it's, it's big time used for remote viewing. You remote view through the scanner right here. Where the forehead comes up and the skull's right here. It comes down right, right where they meet. Right here. I got a knot there. Most people do. In Lemuria, we had huge knots. They come out all over the place. Atlantis, we had pretty good ones too. But Lemuria, it was really strong. We have people here from different planets, different uh, galaxies, different civilizations that uh, came here on their own, aggressively competing with each other, and that turned into harmony. It was a very beautiful thing. Um, and uh, the second age here on this planet, things were going good. Uh, Lemuria was still here in the second age, and uh, Atlantis was getting more and more populated with the Damix and uh, the uh, problematic Anunnaki and some other reptilian races that were here. And there were more of the strong reptiles called dinosaurs uh, running around. Uh, we had plenty on Lemuria, but the islands were spread apart more. They could not be contained well, but there's no way to contain them uh, in Atlantis, except building huge walls and stuff. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, so we go into the scanner, and I build that energy field. It's a whole different energy field. Your crown's right here going up. The scanner's right up against it. And right below it and up against it is the pineal. Now, the pineal field goes from right above your clavicle here to right here. Okay? That's your pineal field. Some people say, get some lapis lazuli. It'll help you talk. Well, they're right. They're right. Um, lapis lazuli feeds the pineal gland, and that's from here to here is pineal. That includes the vocal cords, okay? It also gives you what? Strength of affirmation from the deeper blue to help you feel better about what you're saying as you're saying it. And when you can, when your pineal's working, you see other energy and you connect a little better uh, lots of times with stuff that's uh, um, other dimensional. So that really helps you there. And if you're not that strong there, you're stronger in the heart or stronger in the solar plexus that where it comes through your crown and your gut, it's still working. It's just not the strongest part of you relative to the body that you're in. Why do parents, uh, why do two people come together, become parents, and then four or five years later or seven years later split? They, don't, they have no idea what they saw on each other. They, they were made to get together to produce the bodies for certain souls that were waiting to have lives or the spirit usually soul. Like I said, almost everything soul. Not a damn thing wrong with it. Totally awesome. Um, spirit is what it is. It's the frequencies involved in that particular being. Okay. Uh, keep going. Um, now after I do this, um, the remote viewing, you see in extremely high definition. Solar plexus people use it more so and better than the pineal uh, gland than the pineal folks. Okay. So, and heart uses both of them. Um, when, uh, People who are solar plexus oriented, when they go to remember something, remember everyone that goes to remember something, but two, when you do, two thirds of the time, you're actually going back in time to look at it with your abilities. You don't know it. There's no empty, there's no part of your brain that's an actual library. Okay? Um, we do store information here. It's hanging around, but after a while, it just, it just goes. The brain's doing other stuff. Like I said, you don't use 10% of your brain, you use 85%. Okay? Um, anyway. So, uh, uh, so the scanner sees things through high definition clarity. Okay, the pineal sees things. Uh, when the scanner sees things, it sees this dimension and part of one above, part of one below. But that's foggy. But this dimension it sees the clearest. Okay, the pineal sees multi-dimensionally, many dimensions, but especially the other side. So you see more spirit. You can see more fey running around from right below us. You see more multidimensionally. Sometimes a good few dimensions, of maybe four dimensions above, four below. Uh, depends on a person, but you're you're seeing uh, at least three dimensions. Okay, um, almost always more. Um, so uh, you just don't have the same clarity 
that you don't have the high definition clarity when you're seeing spirit through different dimensions that you do when you're right here in the same dimension. That's normal. You have to see through energy barriers. But the pineal does it better and the scanner does this better. Now, um, so with the, with the scanner, you see more high definition. With the pineal, you know, you're seeing more, more, you're seeing good, you're seeing well, but you're seeing like energy as itself, as itself. You have to have some kind of image to go along with that, okay? Scanner, you're seeing what actually is physical. Um, the pituitary gland, it's located a little bit in the front part of the uh, main brain core going up. Uh, I make it stronger in a crank up. Uh, as a matter of fact, I go through the pineal, um, uh, then I go to, no, first I go to the pituitary, and then the pineal, and then the scanner. I left out the pituitary. Um, and when I go into pituitary, you might feel stuff moving around. Um, uh, I'm just, I shouldn't have said that. Um, anyway, uh, uh, but uh, it strives to put high definition clarity on everything, okay? Now, after I crank up the pineal, and then I crank up the scanner, then I go in and I blend the two together. It's like uh, if you're a painter, it's feathering different uh, paint colors together. But I, I feather you know, the frequencies together. And that does give you more depth in the scanner, and it gives you more clarity in the pineal. Okay? It's helping you. You're not made like that. But I can do that for you. Um, and then I release the energy. Okay? Then you feel it again. I say release the energy. Excuse me. Then I take, a, again, it's a unicorn type energy. It's got a lot of silver in it. It's like a rinse. Release it. If, if you're getting a... <clears throat> I'll explain this per consult. Um, uh, no, I need to say this. Um, if you're getting head pressure, or what, you, what you feel is like a headache building up during the process, I'll usually see it ahead of time, but it, if you feel it, and I'm too busy th thinking about what I'm doing and watching everything inside you, and you mention that, it's bothering you. Um, that's part of what happens, okay? The later symptoms and stuff. Then when it's cold, that, that's your head growing, your brain growing. And then sometimes if you're real cold, and it's like, damn, I'm getting the flu, and then all of a sudden it goes away, uh, that's your DNA changing, okay? Those, those are the symptoms of those two processes. Brain growth, and then this. Brain growth, this little pressure, a little dizziness. This is afterwards. Sometimes, whatever. I'm leaving that alone. Um, but then the... Uh, um, the cold thing that'll happen uh, afterwards. Um, on inside and off doesn't last long. It's okay. Um, now the DNA ICUC is very, very powerful. You'll hear other people talk about it. Okay. Um, I haven't asked many people to do that, but I had to ask some of them because you need to know, um, and they're kind enough to offer. Um, they're not told. I've never told anyone what to say. Never. Not one time. Never. Um, they can tell you, explain it to you in their own words. No better thing. Not for me, not for you, not for them. Um, okay, so uh, I'll go in there. If you, if you do get a headache, when this is happening, let me know. I use unicorn energy. Put it through you and boom, it's like, holy crap, it's gone. I, I am real. So are you. I just want you to know how real you are. That's what this is about. And helping you. It's, there's a lot to it. Um, uh, there's more to it. We haven't got to the DNA part of it yet. Um, we're about to, though. Um, after, after you feel it, after I crank you up and feel it, and then after I release the blocks in your body, energy blocks in your body so they can flow, then you're going to feel something different. I'm not talking about that. Um, then I go in and do the DNA work. And then once that's done, you're going to feel it again, and it'll be different, okay? Um, I'll explain the DNA process in a minute. Um, uh, <coughs> uh, this is important to know, and it's a good thing. Um, some people have said, Jay, you know, my child um, is young, and I want him or her to have this, but is it okay? Does it hurt him at all? People... The field is everywhere. The field is enhancing everyone all the time. Unless something's really aggressively uh, lower frequencies, then everything else is already being taken care of nice and softly. It is not 
what's happening to you in the DNA ICUC. Okay? Number one, it wouldn't be right that you spent all that money and someone got it for free. Uh, it, that everybody was getting it for free. Um, number two, um, not everybody should have that. Those of you that come up for this, there's a reason for it. You you have the feeling you need to do this. Why? Because you're going to be teaching people, not necessarily holding classes, not let necessarily being energy workers, but because you need to be this for yourself. You have other stuff coming up where you need to have your own spirit enhanced big time with source energy. But because you're going to teach people just by example, by your being. What I say in my last life? A lot. I said, be the change that you want to see in the world. When we're young, we listen, hopefully we listen to our parents. Sometimes we need not to, but you know, whatever. We listen to our parents. But the way they act is usually the way we act. We, we act out more on what we see instead of what they tell us. So that's a normal state of mind. There's exceptions to everything, but that's how things are for the, for the immense most part. Wrong wording, whatever. You get it. Um, communication is the idea. Um, so just by being yourself, other people are going to see it and they're going to say, that guy's different. And they might want to talk to you and maybe talk to him for a minute. Maybe you don't, but you know, it, it's, it's, you're going to be helping people when you don't even know what or mean to. I mean, you, you're just being yourself, the real you. But you're going to have confidence. You're going to have an energy about you that other people won't understand, but they're going to like. And they're going to want that for themselves, and that helps them do what? Well, go get a crank up somewhere? No, it helps them become themselves. It helps get them started. To wake them, become themselves. What you sit down in chair, relax five times a day, three times a day for five minutes a shot. You're gonna start coming alive as long as you want to. You just relax, flow into the field, start talking with your spirit guides. Things move. Remember, when you get the DNA ICU, see, you're gonna see yourself change. Period. You can't stop it. However, you really want to get max out the effect. Be using your abilities. Okay, just relax, spend some time meditating or relaxing, as I call it, just flowing. Do it three times a day for five minutes, man. It, that's You can do that. It's incredible. It's going to get to the point where you start realizing you're changing and you can do things you never thought you could. Things that a voice, we've always been told is impossible or you'd have to be a messiah. No. No, this is part of who you really are. Okay, now, um, so after we, we initially, I, I clean you up, relax you, and then you feel your frequencies in the beginning. And then um, we go in, do the major, uh, the full major crank up, and then you know you feel it again. Then I release the energy to flow. Then you feel it again. Then uh, I go and do the DNA work again, the actual DNA work on you. And then you feel it again after that. Now, there's three basic stages to the DNA work. Okay. Of course, you got to have the crank up first. But then I go in. I go. There's a certain part of your brain. Okay, not, I'm not telling you where that is, um, but it's in your brain. There's a certain place. I, and the reason why I don't tell you, you know, you're not going to be able to do this anyway. Um, this has to be allowed to happen and controlled to happen properly. And no one ever put in so much energy to hurt someone. That can't happen because the field makes sure it can't. And nothing's going to overpower the field. Okay. Um, so that's a nice little, you know, thought to have in the back of your head. You don't have to worry about being hurt. Um, the uh, after the, there's one part. I go into this one part of your brain, and it literally, if you can think of it as like the operating system of uh, um, of the DNA of the body. It's the program for what DNA your body's supposed to be. That's the first step. The second step is I go into the whole brain, which is more like a hard drive, and I reformat it. 
to produce that type of material, that type of DNA, new DNA material. Folks, it's like you. It's just you, know, you get these cheap DNA tests after I'm done, you know, and I'll explain more about that in just a second. Um, and this says, well, you're still this percentage Caucasian, this percentage uh, uh, African, this percentage uh, la la la, whatever. Um, that's not going to change. That it might, but it'll be minimal. It's the strand itself that changes. That's why these scientists, these scientists, their equipment it costs ten grand to fire it up. Electron microscopes, cool. These folks have got stuff way past that. There's countries, and they're not third world, that hire these folks to do work, that get involved with these people, wanting them to do work for them. Ta-da! That's why they're doing this. This is important. Okay? This isn't someone getting a government grant, trying to twist something one way or the other, hoping they can legitimately... Legitimately, I'm not calling these people anything negative. They have no thought process in the back of the head to make something happen. They just these folks here, they just want to know. Uh, they've got two labs, so uh, uh, anyway. Uh, so I go in and I change, actually change the format for the software program for the DNA, and then I go in again. And I do it for the hard drive, which is like the brain. And then the rest of the system, um, called the motherboard, um, that's your body. And then that's the new format going through your body. So the first one, I, I changed the format. The second one, I changed the hard drive upon that format. And the third one is changing your whole body. So that it's like a distribution center. You can think of it as uh, I change the product and then I change the uh, brain which makes the product and builds it. And then I change the whole body which it flows through like uh, uh, manufacturing, uh, like making a new computer program, then a manufacturing process and then a distribution. So all kinds of ways to uh, look at it. But that's what it is, three stages. And then once I do that, I relax things up again and then you go feel your um, and about, is it safe for children? Yes. I'm not trying to push that. I'm just answering questions that are going to come into some of your heads. Uh, mothers that are pregnant? Yes. Completely safe. It's actually a two-for-one deal. Um, when I go into people that aren't there and I don't at the time, I can do a DNA ICU scene about, honestly, Way under 60 seconds. 20, 30 seconds. I don't. I want to take my time, relax. I want you to feel it. I want you to understand it. So many people waste so much time. We, we all want to understand everything we run into, especially when it's new. But so many people waste so much time Try and understand what I am instead of trying to find out who they are. I don't matter. I don't. I don't know how else to put that. Um, nothing can stop me. I'm going to do what's right for everyone else because they're the ones that matter. And uh, y'all are going to start becoming alive. Those of you that don't want to, that's fine, but you're not going to be coming back into bodies having lives. The th this physical third dimension is changing. And we have new first beings coming out. They'll be released soon. So, but it's all being controlled with compassion and protection and honor. So, anyway, uh, and then there's symptoms. Uh, I'll have new DNA. Uh, new DNA. I'll have new videos made soon. Probably tomorrow morning I'll start making that. I, I, I probably, you know, if I tell you I'm going to do something, I have every intention of doing it. But look, just like right now getting hammered, I'm not in control of that. Just like you, the strongest part of what I am is in this body, but it's a teeny, teeny part, just like y'all. <sighs> Born in Long Island, New York, and I... I love the word y'all. 
call myself a New York redneck. Anyway. So anyway, folks, that's what it is. Um, you will feel it when you go through it. The application is soft as it should be. Um, you feel it later. And when I come out of my body and get stronger, you get more. And if you are pregnant with children, when they come out, they will very naturally grow, but there will be more. Um, I and Cam out in Spain, um, I cranked them up, DNA, I see, you see. They're going to have children. They're strong as hell. They're children. Two people that have had a DNA ICUC and then they turn around and have children? They physically have new DNA, folks. This is in the works of being proven. Oh, something I was going to say I didn't say yet. Um, anyway, but these children, wow. Wait and see what they do. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, darn it. Oh, okay. I, I was part of me was telling myself, understanding, and the, the part of me that I got back into me in Hawaii and Oahu, that was knocking stuff over everywhere. Um, if Deanna wasn't who she is, and someone else was there with me, they would have run out of the house. <laughs> um, uh, here we go again. I got to hurry up. I'm getting hammered. Um, that part of me was just telling me, giving me the word understanding. And it's like to help you understand what's going on. Um, it's like little hints. Um, the um, um, I can't. I can't. I've got three different thoughts in my head at one time. Anyway, um, within four months' time, this is affecting you, and you're knowing it. Within eight months' time, you're seeing it in the mirror. I said within. This will continue to happen on the average seven to eight years before it stops. When I say it stops, the format's complete. It, it, it really, it, I want to say mega increases. Um, it, 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 it does the biggest, the, I don't have the wording. Um, this does many very important things to you, for you. But the big thing it does that is going to enhance this life that you're in the most is understanding. And to fully wake up, that's really what you need. But it's changing your DNA and you're spreading that out through your family line. Human DNA is much different than that of the other planets. There are three planets that have more, but that the, the, the three there's three top planets whose physical body DNA has incredible abilities to evolve beyond far beyond what it's thought to be. And uh, out of those three, Earth is number two. So, this is a gift you give yourself. You give your children, just like these spheres that I build. These spheres. There's no battery, there's no cord to plug in. They will continue, as long as they're near you or near yourself when you're sleeping, they literally go in and make you stronger and stronger. So, um, it makes you more you. <laughs> if that's a crime, sue me. Good luck. Um, everything's going to change and it's going to be as smooth as possible. You're not going to have another 311 in Tokyo. And you're not going to be allowed to have any more 911s like you had here. <clears throat> the people that would do such a thing are going to be removed. And the biggest problems you have on this planet are going to, the bodies soon, next year, they're going to start dropping. As soon as I said that, I'm getting that it's already starting to happen. Um, but not. it's going to happen hard. Um, I want to say about five months, uh, within the next eight months. So, they'll just start dying. 
boom, dead, heart attacks, brain aneurysms, body aneurysms, whatever. So anyway, um, and none of you getting this done. I'm talking about people who are here for nothing but to hurt, destroy, maim, abuse, and, and spread chaos. So, um, if that made anyone nervous, try not to be. Try to trust your heart a little bit on that. If you want to think I'm a nut, hey, I love you, man. You're welcome to it. Um, uh, if you think you don't qualify for this, then 99.999% uh, you're ready for it. If you didn't wonder, if you didn't care, then you might be. If you didn't want to, if you're not involved in any thought process like this, then it's not time for you. Things are simple, folks. I don't wear overalls to be simple. I love them because they have lots of pockets. Uh, I used to have tools, stones, and everything in my pocket. I'd be building a shop, working on a house, uh, uh, fixing cars, um, building my race cars, redesigning stuff. I could always take an engine, tear it apart, and put it and remanufacture it properly to my own specifications. They always got much better gas mileage and it had twice the power, if not three times the power. So. I make things better. I'm a janitor. That's all I am. Some people want to make something out of nothing. All I want is to free every one of you that I can with information. Boom. I've written a total of four books, uh, three books, and I'm writing the fourth. One of the books is a, it's not a pamphlet, it's a small book. It's about the rooms, the room cards here. It's here somewhere. There it is. Deanna got me a real cool uh, salt lamp over there. I need to get that in there. We have so much stuff. I'm going to do a uh, video about seeing. Uh, I'm going to drop the sheet up here. and The white sheet and just drop it over all that. Because I don't want you to see that. I want you to relax and see a blank sheet. Um, and I want to explain some things about seeing. That's going to set some people off. Uh, those people that are seeing is going to help you see better. But it's going to make a lot of people a little uh, off to the side. It needs to happen. Okay? I don't care if if my subscribers go down to zero. It's not that I don't care because I want more people getting more information. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm not concerned with that. I'm concerned about not doing my job, if anything. And, of course, I'm not concerned about that. I've already done it. And nothing would ever, you know, I, I would never allow anything to stop me. Wow. That was big. I gotta go look at him. Anyway, um, I need to go anyway. Uh, folks. Whatever it is, it's got my energy inside it. It's crazy looking now. Uh, so what was I doing? Um, yes, anyway, so folks, look. Um, I'll get some other videos up. The thing about the uh, side effects of it, symptoms, um, you'll get some head pressure. It goes away. Okay? Um, sometimes you get a little dizzy. Okay? When it's time for... If you have to go... If you're dizzy... Feeling a little dizzy from this? You feel your your brain's growing. It's getting worked on. Most of that happens at night when you're sleeping, um, and after it does, sometimes your emotions, you, your emotions, you get run through a gambit of emotions. They get they push this, push that. You you feel extreme happiness. You feel extreme uh, sadness. You'll feel anger. You, you'll feel uh, levity. Um, you know it, it's uh, uh, it it just boom 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 boom, and it might make two cycles, and then it'll stop. Because when your brain's being increased like that, then you're being adjusted. And that's usually Gaia that does a lot of that. Uh, she'll adjust the brain as it's going. It's also the guy, it's Gaia working with the field, sometimes with Gaia too. Um, but if you're feeling kind of dizzy and, you, and you're concerned because you have to get in the car and go to a meeting, don't worry about it. 
you might be dizzy until you open up the door of the car and then, uh, boom, you're fine. The field controls it and the field understands. The field is there to serve you. Not itself. It has no agenda other than taking the best care it can of you. It doesn't mean you get everything you want in life, but it means you're looked after. Not the way it's been always with everyone being abused. Anyway, look, folks, love you. Um, these spheres and stuff, a lot of people put them right next to the bed on the night table. Awesome. Because while you're sleeping at night, these real strong spheres, it, it, the, all the spheres, if you're within about four foot, they're softly going in at you. The real strong ones, it's an eight foot reach. You're communicating at night when you're sleeping. It's making you stronger, stronger. It makes you so strong that after a while you think that something happened. There's no more energy in the stone. Jay took it back or it came out, it leaked out or something. Um, take that sphere and go to a stone shop and ask for someone who can feel stones. And have them sh t take a stone to them, feel them and say, what does this feel like? What does it do? Okay, make sure they can feel it. Then put the sphere up there and tell them, go ahead, put your hands, like start here. And go a little bit towards it until you feel something to see if they don't feel something. They're going to go, whoa. So, but the spheres will make you stronger so you don't feel it the same. And you get to a point where you can't hardly feel it. And then just keep it with you because the next month, month and a half, two months, it changes again. Where you start feeling it deeper. It's a growth thing. Okay. I went through it myself. I'm, and other people around me go through the same thing. So. Folks, I love you. Take care. Uh, I tried to make this video as uh, uh, straightforward as possible, but I can't because there's things I have to explain along the way. Plus, I float, too. I float around. But it's all the information you need. I gotta go talk to my buddy. <laughs> I love you, folks. Uh, take care. And uh, if, if you uh, want one of these consults, uh, get a hold of Deanna. Go to thespiritualfoundation.com, okay, and uh, uh, Deanna will send the while she's in um, while she's at the beach here in the continental U.S. She'll send the uh, um, uh, the email to me, and I'll answer it from my email that most of, all of you know about anyway, and then I'll set up the schedule with you. I can't have conversations. And the consultation is for answering questions, okay? I don't have time, but during the consult, yes. That's why a, a consult that's normally scheduled for, you know, up to an hour was f minutes away from four hours. Uh, that doesn't mean you and I are going to have a consult ourselves and it's going to go that long, but when I cranked up those nine people, yeah, it did, so... Um, and the group rate is one person is 900, two people is 1,200, okay? And then for larger groups, the larger the group, the more you save. But uh, um, uh, Deanna will, you know, I'll set it up with you until Deanna gets back. So she should be back. Uh, uh, she'll be back before the end of the month. I know that. She has to be. There's something happening in this house in uh, the end of April the end of April, the end of uh, November, and there is an April too, but uh, like I said, there's a lot of stuff waiting to happen. The other side is tipsy-turvy, but it's, it's all chaos, but it's about to come together and certain things can be made to happen, will be made to happen. Um, some things can be made permanent is what I was trying to say. So uh, I'll be answering back in person, but don't expect more than one or two emails, and that's it. And, um, uh, make sure you have the funding, and uh, and it's good. It goes right to Deanna, the Spiritual Foundation dot com. That's what uh, the receipt says. The Spiritual Foundation. That's her business. It's a legal business. Um, but she's there to have fun, so she's gonna send it off and. We'll take care of it. So, what is this video? This is a, in the how-to series. It's how to 
mutate yourself to a cool freak. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'm a mess. Um, I want to have my fun too. I'm here to perform my job, to do my job, perform certain tasks. And like I said, it's all but totally, you know, sewn up, all zippered up. Um, but I love my consults because I finally get to relax and be myself for a minute. Um, so, and folks, you want to know about yourself, who you are, where you came from? This is the only book that has the information in it. Okay? Now, the other books coming after, they, you know, they follow the same series, but this is how it all started. Where'd this God thing come from? How, how was the first being made? What happened before that? Bottable. It's all right there. Amazon.com, Amazon.Europe, uh, Ireland, uh, Australia, Europe, uh, whatever. So, uh, I'm rewriting uh, the second book, too. So, it's a more thorough rewrite. This was very little, but the other one, I had some, there were, some, there were grammar mistakes in there, just, I was in a process of serious fighting when I wrote that, so I had to change it. So, folks, love you. Take care. And, uh, I know sometimes it's hard to follow me. Again, relative to like the rewrite in the books, this, some of the language and the thought process, um, it's all there. When you read the books, go slow. The information's there, period. Like I've said before, it was the head editor of eCreateSpace, of CreateSpace, that actually edited that first book. And she's been reading since before she, you know, when she was a kid. Ten years old, she was a serious reader. So, uh, she said, Jay, this stuff isn't out there. She said, it, it's, it, you talk like a normal, I mean, like a, just a regular person. And I am a goofy old man in overalls. But uh, um, at the same time, she said, this is like a technical book. Because there's so much information in it that's never been anywhere. I was the one that had to bring it. I was the one thing that could. So I, and I had to, I did. And I'm fixing the second book to make it easier to read. It's the same information, just cleaned up. Um, it's hard enough to understand something that we've never been exposed to, you know? But it's for me anyway. Folks love me. Take care.